Your strength rivals that of our greatest champions. What now do you think you are? You may enter our most sacred place. The spirit speaks the truth. This was a good place. I can feel it. The world stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die, but not before she is sent back to the burning hells. Tell me about this inn you want to open. The world is so dangerous. Everybody needs a quiet, safe place to rest in their cover. A way station on their journeys. You must make your own safety. And I will. The noble hero fought his way here just to die. Magda! And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your faith, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood! What did she mean my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? She wants to torment you. Don't listen to her. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight was too easy. She's toying with us. We must get back to Uncle Deckard right away.
The World Stone was an ancient artifact of immense power. It was used not only to create our world, but also to control mankind. The original humans were known as the Nephilim, and their power was such that it was feared they would tip the balance in the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells. So the World Stone was tuned to lessen our powers, turning mankind into what we are today. But now that it has been destroyed, it is conceivable that the powers of the Nephilim will reappear. Tyriel was forced to destroy the World Stone when Baal, the Lord of Destruction, corrupted it in his attempt to control all of mankind. The World Stone's destruction must have unleashed incredible energies. It obliterated Mount Ariat, the mountain that housed it, leaving only a smoking crater in its place. And nothing has been heard from Tyriel since. I heard that you took Leah on your searches for ancient artifacts and tomes. Wasn't that dangerous? Not as dangerous as you might think. There was a calm about the world then. Most people paid no mind to an old man and young girl, weaponless and penniless, crossing their lands. Uncle Deckard and I traveled all over the world in my youth, looking for lost lore and artifacts. It was so exciting, crawling around ancient temples, digging through forgotten crypts. I feel fortunate that Uncle Deckard raised me the way he did, the things I learned from him. But now I... I don't know. I see what his obsession with his quest has cost him, has cost us. The Drowned Temple was once known as the Sarcium Emporis. It was the most sacred of their temples, a site where legend claims angels would come to impart their wisdom to the Nephilim. We were only a step ahead of Magda, but now we have the second sword piece. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah, brilliant, dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Items that I'm certain you'll love. I like you. You know the true quality of my wares, unlike some people. Wife, don't think I don't see you undressing our fine hero with your treacherous eyes. I would look at you instead had you a weapon like that. I was thinking... Don't hurt yourself. I was thinking that we should try to recruit more soldiers. What happens if we get attacked again? We just spent a week fighting off hundreds of walking corpses outside our impenetrable gates. We're the hardest bastards within a hundred miles. Who's going to attack us? <laughs> 